It's the final edition of the Seahawks Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. Coming up this week, we'll recap the final two games of the regular season for UNCW. We'll introduce you to Shaikim Phillips, one of the senior leaders for UNCW this season. We'll also have our Flying Machine Play of the Week, the Player of the Week. We'll take a look at the final standings in the CAA and preview the CAA tournament coming up in Washington, D.C. All that straight ahead, our final edition this season of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. Well, UNCW wrapped up the regular season last week, and we'll get to those results in a moment. Mike McCarroll here with the coach, Takeo Siddle. But, Coach, before we get to that, uh, again, 22-9 and nine is what you ended the regular season with, uh, a top-four seed in that conference tournament. We'll talk about that a little bit later on, but you've got to be proud of your kids, where they're at right now after the regular season. I'm very proud of, of this group, um, very happy with the results. Uh, you know, when you look at what we lost, we lost, I want to say, 70 to 80 percent of our scoring. Um, you know, we lost basically four starters from last year's group, um, and now we had to bring in some new guys. And the returners are playing different roles. Um, had to figure out how to win. So, um, you know, we we've had a tremendous year. Very proud of this group, and uh, it's hard to do. It's hard to do. It's only been done nine times in the history of this program to win 20. 20 games. Uh, we've been fortunate enough in my tenure to, to have back-to-back 21 -back seasons. So uh, I couldn't be more proud of this group and um, the direction of the program. Well, let's talk about how you got there this past week uh, on Thursday with Stony Brook coming into town and, and you had beaten them on the road in New York. They're coming in after a, a three-point loss to Hofstra. That, that piqued your interest a little bit and opened your eyes a little bit that, that this is a good team and this was going to be a good test. Yeah, you know, in, in, in basketball, um, I guess in any sport, you know, the styles, um, it's com two completely different styles. You know, we're up-tempo, fast-paced, high-pressure. Uh, they are a, you know, slow it down, pack it in on defense, try to keep you in front, uh, try to slow the game down a little bit. And so we knew it was going to be a difficult game for us. And, uh, and I thought coming off of a loss, I thought we came in, we were really dialed in. Um, we wanted to get a win. And I thought our guys executed really well. Yeah, this is a, a fun game, back and forth a little bit. UNCW never led, or never trailed, rather, in the second half as they got this victory against Stony Brook to win the season series. Let's take a look at the highlights now. UNCW and Stony Brook last Thursday night in Trash Coliseum. Out to the right wing, out front, now to White. White drops it to Newby. Newby three on the way is good. 35th of the season for Donovan Newby. Thomas, Thomas straight on three is good. Thomas has been sneaky good from long range, 17 in transition, hammers it home, ties the game at 10. You know, I like that. It was almost a hole, but he down low as Ferrar trying to attack him. The shot no good. The rebound, the putback is for Grace Arian White and the Seahawks take the lead. Wing swiping it in and stealing it is Phillips now. Phillips on the break ahead. Phillips the layup is good. The Seahawks up 16-15. Top of the key, but the pass is stolen by Newby. Two on one with Thomas. The lock of Thomas will finish on the other end. How about that? Guard to guard. To Thomas. Makes a pass inside now to White. No looks at down low to McGriff who dumps it through with two hands. Try to complete that zone down. Scanner bounce pass in the elbow to White. Drives it in. Gets bumped and scores. Drops it to Harding Hayes. Kelly top of the key will spot up three for him is good. Amari Kelly his third three this season. Thomas drives inside the zone. Flutter with the right hand is good. He attacked it and able to score. Sideline of White. White drives it inside. Redirects. Scores and is fouled as well. So it's a one point. This half now by Stony Brook inside they get it to Ferrar. Ferrar against Sarbin hangs it, banks it in the left hand. Big Ferrar. He's picked up by Ferrar. Push ahead to White. They have numbers. Bounce pass. 
Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Over the cylinder in transition. So twice here on the sideline toward the Stony Brook bench. 2.40 to go. Two timeouts remaining for Stony Brook. Three for UNCW. Policelli pulls up the free throw line and hits a shot. Out to Newby. Nine on the shot clock. Near sideline. Thomas spots up for three. three ribs out rebound well a good win for the Seahawks 76 69 the final score coach the, the key was how you attack their their zone they went from a 2-3 to a 3-2 this go round you finished with 16 assists in this game so I'd say you you attack that zone very effectively yeah we wanted to play inside out um, I thought we did a great job moving the ball around a perimeter uh, but when we were uh, getting clean looks we were playing inside out and um, you know, it was something that, that we had to adjust to on the fly. Uh, we prepared for the 2-3 zone, like you said. They played a 3-2. And um, I thought we handled it well, being, you know, being in, seeing it our first time. And uh, I thought our guys attacked it well. We got some really good stuff out of our, our sets and our natural flow against the zone, the 3-2 uh, zone. I thought we got really good looks. And, um, you know, guys stepped up and made some shots. Yeah, one of your higher outputs from three-point distance, 10 of 27 from long range. So it's one thing to get those looks, but then to knock them down certainly is a, is a bonus. It was great for me to see. Um, you know, one guy had five, I want to say, and, um, you know, they were all clean looks. It was good for us to see the ball go in from, from, uh, from distance, and, um, you know, I hope we can continue to build on that. Jamari Thomas led the way with a career-high 26 points. He was 4 of 7 from 3. The guy with 5 was Donovan Newby, 5 of 7 from 3. He finished with 16 points, and the Seahawks get this win. They also turned the Seawolves over 19 times as well, as that was another key stat in this one. So the Seahawks got that victory back in the win column, and that would set up the matchup with Towson on senior night in Trask Coliseum. We'll take a break. We'll have highlights from that game coming your way next. Stay with us. Behind every journey is the road that got you there, and your Carolina Ford dealer is there for every mile. That's what it means to be true blue. Right now, get great offers on a wide selection of new Ford vehicles in stock and ready for delivery. Ford trucks and SUVs rank number one in brand loyalty. We're going the extra mile, so you'll be true blue too. Now get 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 retail customer cash on a new 2022 Ford F-150, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. At Hardee's, no matter what you choose, it's the right choice. Because our new 4 for 6 deal lets you make your own combo. Mix and match, then feast or snack on the food you're craving, all for just 6 bucks. Combine your favorite flavors into the perfect deal with our new 4 for 6 menu, only at Hardee's. Galope Ultra, 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. This is Mountain Dew. A rush of crisp and refreshing flavor. Delivering a bold citrus kick. Do the do. At Hardee's, no matter what you choose, it's the right choice. Because our new 4 for 6 deal lets you make your own combo. Mix and match, then feast or snack on the food you're craving, all for just 6 bucks. Combine your favorite flavors into the perfect deal with our new 4 for 6 menu, only at Hardee's. Well, Saturday night in Trask Coliseum, a, a good crowd on senior night. Coach uh, Towson, the opponent, they were the preseason favorite to win this league. And anytime you play Towson, you know it's going to be a toughness type of game and that kind of battle. Uh, your thoughts going into this one and, and what you thought it was going to take against a very good team. And we knew it would be tough, like you said. Um, in order to, to give yourself a chance to beat uh, Pat Scary, Coach uh, Towson team, uh, you have to be tough, you have to be competitive. 
And uh, that's just the thing we really hit home with our guys in that one day prep that we had. Um, I thought we, we came out and we played 30 good minutes of basketball. But like I've been telling you all year, putting together 40 good minutes is what it's going to take to beat the elite teams. And uh, for that 10 minutes down the stretch, the back end of the second half, um, you know, it was tough for us. You know, we missed, missed some shots around the rim. We missed our free throws. Um, and then it affected us. It affected us on the defensive end. It affected our energy. And um, so uh, it was one of those games where you just kind of, uh, you got to throw it away and, and, and move on. And, uh, and get ready for, for what's next. And I know it's frustrating because you guys executed to get the shots, you executed to get to the free throw line, but when those shots aren't falling, everybody's frustrated at the end of the right. game. Right, there's, there's really nothing you can do about it. Um, it was just, it was our night for 30 minutes and then for 10 minutes it wasn't. Um, and, and for them, they didn't play their, great, their best game. And uh, we had a lot to do with that, but uh, they have a veteran group. And their three uh, top players are, are veteran guys, and uh, when they when they saw the opportunity to, um, you know, win the game, they took advantage of it, and they just had a will to win. Yeah, a couple of big plays down the stretch. Towson gets the win here. Low scoring game in Trask Coliseum. We take a look at the highlights. Timberlake inside. They get it to Kelly. Kelly redirects, banks the shot with two on the shot clock, and we're tied at two. Hook makes converting to work his way into the paint. With the dribble, hook shot left hand is good. Amari Kelly's got all six UNCW points. Thomas, who's on the floor for the first time, as is Farrar for UNCW. Three, right side, good. Instant offense for Nick Farrar. His bounce pass, right side, stolen by Farrar. Farrar motors it down left side, almost carry the basketball, trying to back it in. No, but it covers a little drive and lay it over the cylinder. They're waiting for him to back down, and then they just spread it more. Weaves in, steps through, drops it to Harvey. Harvey spots up three right wing, battles home. Jamari Harvey. High drops it top of the key to Phillips. Phillips moves left. Phillips all the way in. Good screen there. Kelly allowing the lane to open up a touch. Drives it in against the defense. It's simply those two fouls and able to score. Here's sideline Thomas. The Circles. Kelly sets a screen, frees up Newby. Three is good for the right wing for Donovan Newby. Inside Harden Hayes. Harden Hayes penetrates, steps to Luga. Through the floater with the left hand is good for Harden Hayes. Waves everybody away, working against the defensive Silla. Steps to the lane, lays off the glass with the left hand. For, for a quick guy, he's got great power. Now, Tano, the Tigers, 11 14 to go, driving, hanging. Well, UNCW, again, as I mentioned, low-scoring game here, 57-53, the final score as these two defensive-minded teams come together. Coach, I thought you did a really good job on the leading score. Timberlake, for the majority of the game, he got the majority of his points from the free-throw line, but, but what were you doing to try to take him out of the game? Well, they run a lot of uh, off-ball screens for him. Um, we wanted to make sure in those off-ball situations we had three on the ball when he was coming off screens, and I thought Shaquem did a tremendous job on him being there on the catch, not letting him get any clean looks off. Um, I thought as a team, we really focused in on, on him in particular. Uh, and so we, we had a sense of urgency to close out to him and, and be in his face all the time. Um, and he didn't have many open looks, but we fouled him too many times. And he, uh, you know, he made us pay. He went 10 for 10 from the free throw line. For UNCW, it was Donovan Newby leading the way with 13 points and on the glass with 10 rebounds. Amari Kelly in his senior night game, final game in Trask Coliseum. And, and again, one to kind of, as you said, put behind you now as you get ready for the conference tournament. Is, is that the biggest key for, for a game like this? Yeah, you know, we can't do anything about it now. Um, and, and the one thing we've been talking about after uh, all six of our losses, we have to move on. We can't let that lead to another loss. We can't, we can't afford to let that happen because now it's, it's win or go home. And so, uh, you know, we had a great meeting yesterday. Um, you know, I, I know we'll have a great practice today. And um, leading up to the tournament, I know we'll be ready to roll. Yeah, so again, they uh, finished the regular season 22-9, and 12-6 and six in the conference. They'll be the four seed in the CA tournament in Washington, D.C., UNCW, after the week that was for the Seahawks. 
We'll take a break when we get back. Our Pepsi player profile today, Shaikim Phillips. That's straight ahead. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns, as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. Game day at Walk-Ons is just different. And it starts with the way our teammates prep each dish from our scratch menu. No shortcuts. We are hand cutting every single mozzarella log straight from the block. Hand peeling, stuffing, and bacon wrapping each voodoo shrimp. Hand carving ribeyes for our steaks and po' boys. And hand slicing, then tossing our boneless wings and our house-made sauces. With wall-to-wall -wall TVs and food like this, why would you want to watch anywhere else? That's game day. The walk-on's way. Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Fortune with Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Excited to be on the UNCW campus today to talk to you about this week's Medical Minute. Shoulder injuries are extremely common in sports, recreational, and job-related activities. These injuries can range from chronic overuse injuries to traumatic injuries like shoulder separations, dislocations, and even rotator cuff tears. Sometimes injuries can be prevented, but sometimes with traumatic injuries they are not preventable. But we always talk about preventative strategies to try to limit their effects. One of the biggest things to consider is rotator cuff strength as well as upper back strength, in addition to good posture throughout your day. As always, if these symptoms persist, please come see us at Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Our goal is to support you with easily accessible world-class care for all your orthopedic and sports medicine needs. Preparing for the big game, athletes practice countless hours year round. Then it's game time and their fans get to see the results, cheering on their team to a win. At Coastline Insurance, we're working hard behind the scenes, preparing for when you need us, because we want our customers to be our biggest fans. Let Coastline Insurance shop your coverage and find out why we say, when we shop, you win. Find us online at coastlineinsurance.com. Well, our final Pepsi player profile is Shai Keem Phillips, one of the senior leaders on this team this year, Coach. You know, he was preseason all-conference. The numbers don't show maybe the season that he had and how important he is to this team, but, but certainly he is a difference maker for UNCW. He is. Uh, we, you know, he didn't have the, the year we wanted him to have uh, offensively, um, but defensively and just being a leader by example and, um, you know, buying into the team concept um, and, and not having a bad attitude and not having a bad day. Um, you know, he's been really good in all those areas, and as a coach, that's all you can really ask for. What makes him such a good defensive player and such a presence out there? Well, he's got great feet. Um, you know, he's physical. Uh, he's smart. He, he understands positioning on and off the ball, and he's really uh, handsy, and he can, you know, get a lot of steals, a lot of deflections. Um, and his athleticism uh, obviously helps him on the defensive end. And he's a guy that has been on some of the, the best players in this league. You mentioned the Nicholas Timberlake for Towson. He had been on Jameer Nelson. When he was out with foul trouble, Shaikim Phillips, Nelson took advantage of that. He did. Uh, he'll be, uh, you know, when we play whoever we play in the first round, he'll be uh, put on their best player, you know, if it's a perimeter player. And I know he'll take that matchup personally. So again, it's our Pepsi player profile on Shaikim Phillips. John Smith has more on the senior. Welcome back, John Smith, joined by UNCW, UNCW guard Shaquem Phillips. It's been an amazing run for you folks coming off a of CBI championship last year. What was the off season like for you, especially with a team that you knew was being kind of rebuilt uh, because of you know, some of the guys that left? Um, the off season for me, I mean, it was just like any other off season. Um, being that we uh, we went kind of forward in the season, um, I had took some rest and time off, you know, get my body right, and um, then right back to work. Honestly, you know, getting in the gym, doing whatever I got to do, um, welcoming the new guys that transferred to the team. 
when you come in this season, coming into the preseason, who is the leader of this team? Are you trying to to, to be a leader as is now a, an elder statesman on this team? Yeah, for sure. Um, man, I've been here. Uh, this is my fourth year. Um, and I'm trying to be that, that guy, uh, the vocal leader um, on the court and off the court. Um, we, we got a few other guys that's playing that role too. So we're just all trying to work together. Your style of play, uh, you love getting to the hoop. You love getting to the basketball. You love being able to score. Does that role have to change? Does somebody have to be a true point guard? Or, or is it kind of a, uh, whoever has the ball is the point guard and can distribute throughout the offense? Um, I wouldn't say that role has to change. Um, I feel like, I'll, I mean, this year I have to, uh, you know, distribute the ball a little bit more, um, get my guys open. Uh, I feel like teams going to try to crowd me. So being able to, um, you know, find my teammates is going to open the game up for me. Your body, the style and the, the way you play, your body takes a, a, a beating. You said uh, this offseason you were able to rest, but was part of that getting stronger uh, so that in the season that you, you can take that punishment? Yeah, for sure. Um, in the offseason, I picked up like five to ten pounds of muscle. So um, that was one of the key things for me in the offseason, gaining some muscle. So, you know, I like going in the paint. So, you know, I get a couple uh, bruises here and there. But gaining some muscle, that, that's going to help. Uh, there's a banner in, in Trask Coliseum now that says CBA, CBI champions. Uh, do you feel as if you guys will now have a target on your back coming into the season? Um, I mean, probably, you know, we, we had a, a great year last year, you know, how teams is, um, they just going to be coming for us and we'll be ready to. One thing that you improved the most on to your game. Um, one thing I improved the most is, um, my shooting, um, shooting three ball, my mid range, and, um, being a vocal, a vocal person on the court. That's, a. Uh, couple things I improved on. Well, I appreciate it. Shaquem Phillips, John Smith. We'll be right back. Behind every journey is the road that got you there. And your Carolina Ford dealer is there for every mile. That's what it means to be true blue. Right now, get great offers on a wide selection of new Ford vehicles in stock and ready for delivery. Ford trucks and SUVs rank number one in brand loyalty. We're going the extra mile so you'll be true blue too. Now get 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 retail customer cash on a new 2022 Ford F-150, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. At Hardee's, no matter what you choose, it's the right choice. Because our new 4 for 6 deal lets you make your own combo. Mix and match, then feast or snack on the food you're craving, all for just 6 bucks. Combine your favorite flavors into the perfect deal with our new 4 for 6 menu, only at Hardee's. Galope Ultra, 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. This is Mountain Dew. A rush of crisp and refreshing flavor. Delivering a bold citrus kick. Dew to do. At Hardee's, no matter what you choose, it's the right choice. Because our new 4 for 6 deal lets you make your own combo. Mix and match, then feast or snack on the food you're craving, all for just 6 bucks. Combine your favorite flavors into the perfect deal with our new 4 for 6 menu, only at Hardee's. It's time for the Flying Machine Play of the Week. We rewind to the Stony Brook game. Jamari Thomas, a career night. Here's three of those points he had against the Seawolves. The newbie nine on the shot clock. Near sideline, Thomas spots up for three. Well, again, the flying machine play of the week, the three by Jamari Thomas. I know some people wanted the alley-oop dunk, but coach, it was a key play late in the game, and it really showed, again, as we said, 10 threes against Stony Brook, but 16 assists. You really had great ball movement against the Seawolves. Yeah, we did, and we had to. Uh, they were really uh, help-oriented and, and packing the paint on our drives and 
we had to be willing passers. And I told the guys it had to be a high assist game. Uh, and like you said, the three was, was a key play, and it's worth more than two. So um, we'll take that. Um, you know, Jamari had a really good game. You know, he, he gave us a lift when we needed it the most, and um, I'm very happy for him. Yeah, again, the assists and the threes, some of the, the season best for UNCW against Stony Brook, our flying machine play of the week. Time for the Carolina Ford Dealers Player of the Week in Donovan Newby. Coach, he has been so steady all season long. He gives you a lot of offense here this past week. Uh, 14 and a half points, shot 53% from the field, 54% from three, 86% from the free throw line, also averaged a couple of steals. So uh, to get a performance like that from a guy who's been so steady is, is so huge for this team. For our team, that's important. Um, you know, I think over the last three weeks we've had um, guys start to play better. He's one of them. Um, you know, he, he deserves it. You know, he's a guy that's always working on his game. Um, great attitude, uh, pleasure to coach. He's coming to a leadership role for us. Uh, so I'm very happy for him, and we need him to play well for us to be successful. He was playing well off the bench. Now as a starter, again, he's becoming that, that leader that you, you – have needed and wanted on the court, I would think. As we as we transition um, into our third season, um, which is the conference tournament, we need that leadership. Um, and and after that tournament, going into spring workouts and summer workouts, we need somebody to step up and be be a leader for this group, uh, for the group next year. So, um, you know, he's he's taking those steps, and, and we need that. So again, this week's Carolina Four Dealers Player of the Week, Donovan Newby. Speaking of the tournament, we'll do that when we get back. Stay with us. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. Game day at Walk-Ons is just different. And it starts with the way our teammates prep each dish from our scratch menu. No shortcuts. We are hand cutting every single mozzarella log straight from the block. Hand peeling, stuffing, and bacon wrapping each voodoo shrimp. Hand carving ribeyes for our steaks and po' boys and hand slicing, then tossing our boneless wings and our house-made sauces. With wall-to-wall -wall TVs and food like this, why would you want to watch anywhere else? That's game day, the walk-on's way. Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Fortune with Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Excited to be on the UNCW campus today to talk to you about this week's Medical Minute. Shoulder injuries are extremely common in sports, recreational, and job-related activities. These injuries can range from chronic overuse injuries to traumatic injuries like shoulder separations, dislocations, and even rotator cuff tears. Sometimes injuries can be prevented, but sometimes with traumatic injuries they are not preventable. But we always talk about preventative strategies to try to limit their effects. One of the biggest things to consider is rotator cuff strength as well as upper back strength, in addition to good posture throughout your day. As always, if these symptoms persist, please come see us at Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Our goal is to support you with easily accessible world-class care for all your orthopedic and sports medicine needs. Preparing for the big game, athletes practice countless hours year round. Then it's game time and their fans get to see the results, cheering on their team to a win. At Coastline Insurance, we're working hard behind the scenes, preparing for when you need us, because we want our customers to be our biggest fans. Let Coastline Insurance shop your coverage and find out why we say, when we shop, you win. Find us online at coastlineinsurance.com. Well, we take a look at the Hardy CAA standings, the final standings heading into the conference tournament. As you see, Hofstra, the number one seed, tied for the regular season championship with Charleston, their one and two, Towson three, UNCW four, Drexel five, and so on from there. But uh, again, coach, you were the preseason five, you finish fourth, and you get one of those buys. And I would think that's kind of one of the goals that, that all 13 teams had this season. Well, it, it helps you out a lot, uh, not having to play four games in four days or, or five in five days. Uh, it, it certainly helps you out to be a top four seed and uh, have a chance to go uh, win three games in three days and 
Uh, if we had goals, that would be one of them. Um, we positioned our positioned ourselves well. Um, you know, with our with our regular season, you know, it was tough. Uh, so to be a top four seed is a, is an accomplishment in itself. But uh, we're excited about where we are. Uh, things could have been different, but like I said, we can't change them now. We're excited about what we are and the opportunity in front of us. Well, we take a look at the uh, walk-ons. What's coming up? The opportunity ahead for UNCW starts on Sunday in the quarterfinal round. Now, they don't know their opponent yet. It could be either number five seed Drexel. It could be the 12 to 13 Hampton or Monmouth. So uh, that's one of the uncertainties going into this. But as we talked on the, the radio show, I know you're looking at yourselves this week getting ready for that tournament. That will be the most important thing um, the whole way through. Um, and we've always been about that. You know, are we getting better from day to day? Are we, be, are we becoming more connected from day to day? Um, are we doing UNCW well? Are we taking steps to become the best version of UNCW? Um, because uh, you can't, you have short prep days in, in league play. You're going to have short prep days um, as we go into uh, each round of the tournament. So being the best version of yourself is the most important thing. And that's what we'll try to uh, work towards this week. Again, Sunday at 2.30, quarterfinal round. We'll have that for you starting at 2.15 on 95.9 The Breeze. Coach, appreciate your time all season long. Wish you the best of luck in D.C. Thank you, Mike. For Takeo Siddle, our entire crew, we thank you for watching all season long on this show. Again, it's the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle.